just thought I'd lob the big O in there, uh, Royal Bassoon, because yeah, I'm a happen. super big fan. Uh, but you, you're quite right. You, you like the obscure things too, uh, musically, uh, and I do, and that's one you don't hear too often. Yes, otherwise uh, people say, oh, Royal Bassoon, only the lonely, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. all the usual stuff, mm. you know. W- 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 which is a great tune. I, I, I love the, um, w- we were very close to uh, going to London just before, uh, and uh, y- your brother was... Um, Involved with the Beatles, yes, the same Life in Hamburg. Hamburg, and Tony Sheridan was the lead singer. He was mm. the lead singer of the house band. The My Bonnie Lies of, Over the Ocean it, and Ain't yeah. She Sweet. Yeah, that was the two records that came out with the Beatles backing him. But uh, John Lennon said to my brother Ian, "Ian, we love the organ. Do you want to mind coming join the Beatles and come back to in- England?" And Ian said, "No, I, I'm the resident house band here. Uh, you know, I'm a girlfriend and everything's fine." In hindsight. Which is the name of my book? In hindsight, yeah, <laughs> another book. No, in hindsight, you know, oh, yeah. hindsight, of course, yes, it of course. Is. Yes, yes. We, we we didn't we didn't really we'll, we'll talk about that. Carry, yeah. No, in hindsight, <laughs> yeah, Ian, you know, didn't know the Beatles were going to become that famous. Who did? Nobody knew, you know. No, uh, and that's why the Beatles started to do the organ because Ian kind of introduced them to the to the organ there. But um, we we we've touched on uh, Fifty Shades of Fraser, yep. uh, a life in pictures, which is terrific. Terrific. Uh, There's a nice one to be bare chested. Oh, there's some lovely, yeah, some lovely shots of you in here, lovely. Oh, I put it on Facebook. Does, does, does he take a nice picture, Phil? Does, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's that? Yeah. Uh, there he is in his kilt. Oh, yeah. Yes. But, um, I tell you what, you, you talk, we were talking about uh, our old pal there, Robin Asquith. I mean, you've been in enough pantomimes. As I, as oh, I love so. doing pantomimes. Yeah. They're great fun. No, I, I just, just remembered yeah. here. Uh, as I browse through it, Robinson Crusoe, and you were headlining there yeah. over um, Tracy Lance. Bennett and Lance Percival, yes, and George Sewell. Was it George Sewell? Was a yes, not? yes, he, yes, he was. Uh, I, yeah. Oh, I recognise him. He, he he plays a heavy character. He always played the heavy or the or the chief inspector in that detectives with um, Jasper Carrot and um, Robert Powell. Yeah, I recognise him. Uh, so, so where was that? That was in... Uh, 1982. That was my first panto ever, in 1982. And what were you playing in that panto? Uh, oh, Robinson it, Crusoe, were you? No, I, I was playing Billy Crusoe, Robinson's brother. All right. Because because Robinson was obviously played by um, Chrissy G. And and then you were in uh, another one here, Aladdin. I did 28 pantos off the reel. I thought I was going to make it to 30. Did Have 20 you really done that many? Off, you know, and then they suddenly found me out. That was it, and that's it. No, no more. No, no more. you. I love doing pantos. No, joking apart, you've done a lot. You've been in Cinderella. Yeah. Linda Hayden. Oh, I remember Linda Hayden. But wasn't she a friend of Robin's? She was a friend of Robin's, and now she's married to big entrepreneur Paul Elliott. Hey. Yeah. Uh, and uh, no, 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 she because she, she, she was in a, a film, wasn't she? As I remember rightly, oh, uh, yes, one of those shock blood films. on Satan's claw, directed by Piers Haggard. Yeah, I know that because I was nearly in it. Funny enough, I was nearly in it. I remember interviewing Le- Linda Hayden, I remember her well, but uh, yeah, lovely lady. You're br- browsing the, the, the lovely thing about Michael Caine, hindsight, you know, I, I rang him up and said, you know, you've got your book out at the same time. I'm doing, you know, mine's coming out in paperback, it's got some great sort of um endorsements on the back will you give me one he said what do you want me to say I said well you know just say my book Elephant to Castle is better than your book he said no no I can't do that I can't do that so then he gave me a lovely quote which was what is it read it out it says uh, if you've not not read my book uh, then read Fraser's and And then then read read mine mine. that's it (laughs) (laughs) which is a lovely quote isn't that that nice yeah that's nice from the horse's mouth yeah yeah, I, I, I remember, because uh, I first got into this game through a TV program called A Whole Scene Go, and Elizabeth Cowley was the producer. You probably remember mm. Elizabeth. She also produced The Tonight program, and it went on. And oh, yes, yes. She, she was involved with Spike Milligan. She um, was a, a, a lady from Canada, lovely lady. Yes. Anyway, Michael Caine, they, she got everybody on the show, and I remember sitting next to Michael Caine. I've been in the business five minutes, and you weren't allowed to smoke in the studio, and he was puffing away. And I, and I looked at him and I said, you, as if I cared. Yeah. I went, you're not really allowed to smoke in there, you know. And he just sort of looked at me and smiled. I went, well, I suppose you'd get away with it. That was when he had Alfie out. Because oh, yeah, he'd yeah. gone on the, there mm. to talk about Alf, talk mm. about Alfie. Mm. But you could feel the vibe off him. He, he, he yeah. was a nice man. Mm. But, you know, that was just my encounter with him. But you, you got to know Michael quite well. Yes, you are, yes. And... and Spent many a time at his house, you know, with, with supper. And, and, you know, and uh, when I was doing Panto about f- six or seven years ago, Nicky said, oh, Dad says, come for Christmas Day. Or, oh, come. I said, I can't do a show. He come from Boxing Day, you know. So I came to Boxing Day, uh, did, you know. 
and stayed overnight. And it, it was hanging out with Michael. And it, it's very, I must tell you, it's very funny because I, I came down and said, Michael, that, that, that mattress I slept in, that mattress, oh, it's the best sleep I've ever had. And he said, I got that mattress from the Jean V Hotel in Paris. I went, you bugger. I said, most people nick towels. <laughs> and he went, no, 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 no. I ordered, <laughs> he said, no, no, I bought the thing, you know. You know, from where they buy their mattress. But I could just imagine Michael walking out with a big mattress you know, under his coat. <laughs> well, yeah. And he's, he's probably got a great sense of humour. Mm, great sense mm. of humour. No, 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 that, that, that sounds fun. But moving on to your next uh, tune here, Fraser. Ah, yes. Well, the, the door, it's funny, funny enough, t- t- talking of Michael, my next choice is, you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. And here we have, Love Me Two Times by The Doors. <laughs> Oh, that was a funny lead. <laughs> Fraser, please with that. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think this show was scripted, wouldn't you? Best way I've lived. <laughs> 